click and go to blending options and we can just change the blend mode from normal to soft light and that'll kind of just make it show up you can kind of see it uh, we'll center that on the page just like we did last time with the navigation align the horizontal centers and it's centered um, I guess we can fool around with some more blending options here with uh, header text I'll just go to blending options uh, we'll drop a shadow on it you can see there's a shadow um, we'll mess with the gradient overlay change the opacity I don't know if you can see it's getting less apparent that we have an overlay we'll make it 30 percent so you can kind of see it uh, we'll go and mess with the options on the my blog or the drop shadow I mean uh, we'll bring the you can kinda of see if I make the distance farther away the shadow gets farther away um, we'll make it two pixels away which is pretty close uh, we'll make the size I'll make it bigger at first just to show you 13 makes it bigger of course and then if I make it let's say two pixels you can see it a little better I guess I'll uh, we'll make it soft light so as you can see you can just kinda barely see it um just a quick tip I wouldn't recommend using bevel and emboss it looks pretty cool when you're just starting Photoshop but it's kind of amateur I mean I don't want to sound high on my horse but I mean it's just kind of amateur um, I'd recommend messing around mostly with the drop shadow gradient overlay maybe a stroke I'll show you what stroke is um, as you can see it's just outlining it's basically an outline I don't know why they call it a stroke um, you can change the size of it like we make it go bigger but we'll just take that off for now and there we have it and we'll click OK uh, this looks pretty good to me I mean it's not a great design by any means but it's just showing the basics of Photoshop like the tools the rectangle marquee uh, edit fill uh, centering text changing text how it looks um, pretty much just the basics uh, in our next part we'll go into depth on how to crop the images and code them in uh, HTML so I hope this helped you out uh, if you have any questions or comments leave them in the comments section at either techadam.com or YouTube thanks for watching